we're in La Fortuna and we want to check out some hot springs. What are these paid resorts worth it? Or is the free one good enough? Let's check it out. Alright guys, so we just got to the free hot springs, just past a bunch of other resorts that have those paid day passes which we're going to check out here shortly in the video, but we wanted to compare whether or not the paid ones are worth it. We just started out at the free ones, so let's go check it out. Oh, it's warm, like warm, like bath water. Oh, it is warm. It's so warm. All right guys, we just got down to the free hot springs at El Choin. It's just off of the main road where you'll find a bunch of other resorts along the way here. But it, I mean, it's nice here. It's pretty warm water. It's very warm. It's very warm. It's not like hot tub warm, but I'd say more like bathtub water it's warm. Bathtub. Yeah, it's pretty warm water. Pretty popular place as you can see people behind us. Yeah. It's a little hard to find like a private place that's your own. I find the only thing is I can't leave my stuff. Like you want to come with minimal stuff or have a car where you can put stuff in. For us, like yeah. we have our camera gear and everything. So it's kind of hard for us to really, I find, enjoy it. People do suggest not leaving things in your car while you're, yeah. you know, off, parked off in some of these swimming holes. But I don't really see any other way if you have electronics with you to really enjoy it here. I would say though overall for a free hot spring it is amazing. The, you're literally in the Costa Rican rainforest like it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You can definitely see why the locals come down here. Yeah it's not a strong current. There is a bit of a current though. We right there. Almost got swept away right here. Like could be real bad. Yeah. I think we've had a good time here though, hey? Probably ready to head off. I think we'll be back. A free day hanging out in the hot springs here. So why not come back? I am also looking forward to the paid ones though. I think that's gonna be fun. I think it'll be a little bit easier to find the more tranquilo private space. We also get a meal included in that, so should we go check that out? Yeah. Let's go check it out. like you're in a nice tropical jungle but with the nice cobblestone walkways and everything's clear and easy to get around the water looks like it's amazing so far feels like i'm in a disneyland for hot springs yeah it's like an amusement park of hot springs you just walk around and you just come across these amazing pools and waterfalls all around this whole place Should we get in Let's go, let's get it. I like how here, it's not a bunch of uneven ground. It's just like stone and grippy concrete. Ooh, and it's nice and hot. Ooh, this one is hot. <laughs> we found the bar. Muchas gracias. Cheers. Cheers. Tell you, it is absolutely amazing here. They've got all these different temperature pools. So it is a hot springs day here for us today, but they've got the cool pools that go, we've seen as low as 20 degrees Celsius. It is freezing cold in comparison. This reminds me of like true river water, you know what I mean? 
Like it feels kind of like stepping into the Bow River back in Alberta. It's really cold water, eh? Yeah, it's so cool. Submerge yourself. Ooh. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Ooh. You can cut glass with these nipples, I'm telling you. And we've seen them get up as hot as like 40, 42 degrees. Yeah, especially or? that the sauna is like hot water. <laughs> like it was burning when your feet is going in. We haven't had the dinner yet. We still gotta go check that out. We still gotta go check out the water slides here. That'll be fun. Yeah. But we also, you know, all in all, I mean, a lot of people when they come to places like Costa Rica, they come to anywhere in Central America and they think like, you know, they want that nature feel and everything. And hey, I totally get it. And that is available to you if you want. Like we had shown earlier in the video, there are the natural hot springs that are completely free of charge. But I think that this is just This is so fun. So and it's awesome. definitely a full day out. Like you can come for the whole day. You can get lunch or dinner included in your pass. Or I think you can do neither just for forty dollars. So. Yeah, it's forty dollars just to have access to the park. Sixty dollars and you get a meal included, whether it be lunch or dinner. And so 120 bucks for the two of us. We had said that that would probably equate to like three or four days out at the natural springs because we want to buy something to eat ourselves. Yeah, get and some beers. And so, food. like, if you're gonna spend as much time there, you'll probably be spending yeah. 15, 20 bucks. So, if and that's per person, you know, a couple drinks or whatever, then you're looking at sixty dollars each after doing it three or four times. So, I think in our personal opinion, we would rather do this once every couple weeks rather than hit up the natural springs, you know, once or twice a week over the next couple weeks. I think this is probably my favorite way to experience it for sure. But overall, we loved it. We've been having such a great day. We still have dinner to go to, so we're excited for that. Yeah. So let's go keep checking out the rest of this place and then we're gonna go have dinner. Let's mm -hmm. go. There he is, he's coming down. <laughs> you came down like upside down. Did you get stuck? That was great. I was not expecting to go that fast. <laughs> I kind of like whip myself. I saw that. You know how like you grab on the yeah. top and you whip yourself? As soon as I did that, it was like a bad idea. <laughs> I was like whipping around and it was pure black, so I didn't know which way it was like. Am I spinning left? Am I spinning right? I didn't know which way I was going. It was so fun. Get your thing. Get your <laughs> all right guys just finished eating at the buffet here at the baldy hot springs resort not bad not bad pretty good overall it's pretty good food the dessert's good they have a real big dessert fridge on top of the fact that they have a pasta station, they have a number of different main courses that you can choose from, as well as a fondue station. You know we're gonna hit that up. <laughs> we're just getting into dessert phase right now. But overall, the food, I would say, is so-so. I mean, buffets can be hit or miss. I'm sure there's some really great dishes out here at the buffet. Overall, I mean, the resort experience and the buffet, for $60, I think there's a little bit of something for everybody and overall just find it more comfortable. But is it worth the $60 per person? That's kind of the underlining question this whole video. I think it is just because I personally like those comforts a little bit more. Um, I also do like that the food's included and you actually get from nine in the morning till 10 o'clock at night with your day pass. So I would suggest that you get here a little bit earlier, maybe right after lunch, soak up the water all day, Come grab the buffet for a late dinner and it's a great way to spend the day and I definitely think it's worth the 60 bucks. Jess, what do you think? I think you could end up spending a lot of money here if you did an all day pass because you get one meal included. If you like to drink, you're obviously gonna go buy some cocktails and stuff like we did. Cocktails were like $10, beer was five. So yeah, I think we probably spent like $40 in alcohol. So that can add up, so be aware of that. So I enjoyed the food. 
Wild with Soso, the desserts I'm loving. Overall, I think we had such a great day. Um, I think, did we prefer? I think we preferred it. Yeah, I, def I definitely preferred it. I think it was definitely worth it. It was a great day overall. I personally think I would have preferred to come here a little bit earlier and just spend the whole day here rather than fit both in one day. With that said, I'm strongly leaning towards the resort and I think it's worth the $60. So, All that to say, we do have a cool little local spot that we would also suggest checking out. It's not necessarily that hot springs feel, but let's just get into it and show you guys. guys thanks for watching all the way till the end. We do have a special hint for you guys. If you're here in La Fortuna, obviously known for its hot springs, but if you're looking for some cooler water, mm -hmm. we found this really amazing swimming hole just under the bridge of Rio Fortuna. Yes, we are at Rio Fortuna, and that is past the second bridge. If you go out of town, it is like a 20 minute walk. It's really not far. You'll see many people walking down the road towards it. Waterfalls, yeah. and they've also got a cool rope swing here that I jumped off yeah. of right away when we got here. It is a really nice place to come, and it's completely free. free. So, hope you enjoy that. And if you did find this informational and entertaining, and hopefully entertaining, and hopefully, I hope, so. and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button. We do have a lot of fun things planned here, yes. so make sure to click subscribe if you want to continue following our journey through La Fortuna and beyond and ring a ding ding dong that bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. Until next time, bye. bye.